Hello everyone, um, it's Aries0083 doing another webcam video. This is a haul. I find a haul um, of the stuff that I picked up on the weekend. There's some things I'm going to not include, which is I picked up a, a couple of uh, Masterpiece Stars, uh, Masterpiece Sky Warps to put on eBay. And I picked up another um, G.I. Joe Air Raid um, Fire Bat repaint. But I'm going to show off the uh, Marvel Universe toys that I got. Um... Usually when the thing when items are on sale I try to go for the stuff that's on sale like um, not the new stuff like I've seen Rodimus I still don't own Rodimus I'm gonna buy Rodimus it's $17 but I I figure you know what um, like for the last few weeks at the um, Toys R Us has been having a, a GI Joe sale where you could buy two for ten so I'm trying out the Marvel Universe figures because um, I'm a fan of Marvel the later waves do look better and um, a 2 for 10 it's better than paying 8 bucks for one I think Target has them for 804 I got um, some regular ones from Target on Sunday but yeah. So on Friday the on Friday the tenth I went down to Toys R Us in Times Square early in the morning and I picked up a few figures. I picked up um No, you know what? I don't think I picked up anything. Uh there were I was looking to get something that I that would call out to me like you know that would make me want to buy it like the first time they had the sale I picked up the Juggernaut, Colossus, Team X, Wolverine, Old Time Captain America, uh, Ultimate Captain America but it was designs that I liked I had seen um, Winter Soldier and the Mary Jane but I was like, eh, I don't like them that much. Now I wish I would pick, would have picked them up because I haven't seen them again. But I was more into getting what I wanted than just amassing a collection. But the, um, the, on Friday, I didn't pick up a lot. I picked up um, the, the Fire Bat and some uh, Hall of Fame G.I. Joes. But uh, on Saturday, because I on Friday I wanted to save my money for Saturday, because I was thinking if on Saturday they have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get, you know I can't I don't want to be like oh but I wasted my money yesterday on things that I didn't really want, so I waited till Saturday, and Saturday I splurged. I went to Toys R Us Times Square. It opened at 6 in the morning. I got there at 7. And the pegs were empty. I did pick up... Um, Venom from the Spider-Man line. And I was going to pick up the hand glider. Spider-Man in the black costume. But um, I realized there was a regular black costume spider-man and not a sparkly blue one so I got spider-man and venom which is basically the same costume so I like it I don't know what I'm gonna do with the accessories though like with the cards and and the stuff that you're supposed to clip on the figure so I got these I picked up uh, yellow jacket and ant-man when I went on Friday, I had considered picking this one up, but I put him back on the peg, and before when I went back to pick him up, he was gone. <laughs> so I snatched him up as soon as I could get him. And I got Constrictor. Now, I have no idea who this guy is. He looks really evil. He's a fan choice character. 
but the reason I bought him was that he made an appearance in the first episode of the Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Avengers series. And I was like, oh, look, it's Constrictor, the guy that I saw. So I picked him up. And he's kind of Omega Reddish and looks really evil, like I already mentioned. And then... Let me see. I picked up Ghost Rider, and I think I picked up another. I I picked up another Juggernaut, another Colossus, and another Team X Wolverine. So I think it was Team X Wolverine and this guy that I got together. I like uh, the Ghost Rider. He's not my favorite Marvel character. I remember the horrible figures that Hasbro released when they got the license, but this guy's kind of cool. I like the translucent whip and the hair, but he's missing a motorcycle. So then I traveled a little around and I found this guy at a store called AJ Wright. I found Colossus from X-Men Origins Wolverine. He comes with a hammer. <laughs> I guess for hammering in the morning and hammering in, in the evening. His costume is the old X-Men costume. And he's a different mode than the than the Colossus from the Marvel Universe line. I'll make a comparison video about them. So I got him, which is pretty cool. I think he was supposed to come in a two-pack. And now I wish I would have gotten the, Wolf, the Logan on the motorcycle with the saber tooth. Yeah. And then... I went to another Toys R Us and I picked up this guy reluctantly. I think this is the extremist, yeah, or extremist um, armor. And I picked up Luke Cage, Peg Warmer Extreme. Extreme! Um, the reason I didn't want to re. I really didn't want to get this guy. I got him because of his glossy finish. He looks really cool, at least the paint applications. The design sucks, sucks repulsors, but in my lineup I want to put the, um, the Iron Man 2 old timey Iron Man armor. And Luke Cage, he <laughs> it's sad that he's a peg warmer. He just looks like a regular dude. So I think that's one of the reasons why he's warming the pegs. I would have preferred to see him in his um in his yellow costume with the belt the made out of a chain. That would have been fun. And the last thing that I picked up from the Marvel Universe line was this Secret Wars comic pack. Uh this is the one with the Enchantress and Thor. The reason why I picked this one up, even though it's still available on um, HasbroToyShop.com, I wanted it for the regular door. Since I've been watching Earth's Mightiest Heroes, um, I, I like Door's design, his old design. The new one's pretty good too, but there's something about the old design that I like. There's other um, characters like Mr. Fantastic and Ultron and Hawkeye, but they really don't interest me. The next comic pack that I want to pick up is the Wolverine Captain America one. Just because I don't have a regular 616 Captain America with the wings on his head. There is claw marks on the shield, but that's minor. I could just swap them with the ultimate. And on on yesterday, Sunday, in the last di ditch effort, because there were no more sales anymore, all the sales ended, I went to Target to see if I could find anything, and I found um, World War Hulk, who, the first time they had the, Toys R Us had the 2 for 10 sale, I saw this guy on the peg, and I saw the regular Hulk. But due to cost, I wasn't able to get all the ones I wanted. So 
kind of feel bad about that. But I like this Hulk. He's stocky and way better looking than the old Hulk. And he comes with a base. But still, I, I guess I could get any number of repaints of the old Hulk. So, And the last figure that I got, my coup de gras. Um, Spider-Woman. Jessica Drew. Um, I already have the Julia Carpenter Spider-Woman, so when I review her, I'm going to take them both out. Um, one of the sad things about this series, Series 3, is that they don't come with um, dossiers anymore. Which, I don't know. I mean, I was... In my comparison video of Wolverine Origins and Marvel Universe, I talked about how it would come with a card and a little dossier. So now that you don't get the card, this is the only way you could get the box art. So I guess you gotta keep your box art with you. That's nice. Um, very nice. Alright, so I still have like maybe three minutes. <laughs> I've been watching uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good series. Um, I did notice once that uh, there's violence. <laughs> I think in the episode uh, Meet Captain America, Bucky lowers a drawbridge on top of a Hydra soldier. So, he, ki he killed him. There's no implications, but you know the guy's dead. So, it has its bit of violence in it. it for something that's on Disney, it's pretty good. I like... There's one thing that I like, though, is the, the design elements of everything. The only thing I don't like is the wasp's hair and her suit design her costume design but then again the wasp never had a definite a definite costume but i like um the way they make everyone look crisp and colorful without without it be looking too much like the justice league um designs with the big broad shoulders and the little legs <laughs> So it's pretty it's a pretty good series. The Avengers have a lot of history to draw upon and unlike the X-Men, the Avengers haven't been done to death. I think there's only been like um two Avengers series, the one in the late 90s and this one. So, go figure. Um what what I'm going to be doing when I review my Marvel Universe figures, I'm going to be doing a, like a character study. I'm going to be talking about like how I see the character. I'm not going to be quoting Wikipedia, but I'm going to be relate um I guess I'm going to be spilling the beans about <laughs> how I think about the character and what I like about the character. I'm going to do that on my blog, or I might do just um, web videos about it. So keep an eye on my blog, and um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, stay tuned. This is the um, Saturday is the last Saturday before Christmas, so we're going to see sales again. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, tomorrow, Tuesday there's like a flyer for a sale on Wednesday or Tuesday so keep an eye on ToysRS.com and maybe Target.com but Toys R Us is the place to go because they are all about toys so I'll see you guys peace out Pew.